Well, folks, this is uh, our third day back here, right on the boundary of the Bridger Wilderness, I believe it is, in the uh, Wind River Range of Wyoming. And it is September 21st, <clears throat> and as you can see, there's a good chunk of snow on the ground. It's supposed to be some more. But we often get questions about what's our backcountry camp look like. Well, on this hunt, we had llamas. But I brought my setup just like it would always be if I was backpacking this in. I use Hilleberg tents. Uh, this is a Nalo G2, I believe is the model. I've had it so long that I can't even remember the name of it. One of the things that you want to think about when you set your tent is you want to have a slight slope to it, both for the purposes of drainage and for the purpose of you want to sleep with your head slightly elevated. If you sleep with your head slightly below your, your heart and your feet, you're going to know it. You're not going to have a good night's sleep. So where I set my tent always is based a little bit on slope. Also, I like a little bit of wind protection. This ridge right here, the wind usually comes from that direction, from the, the west. So I'm going to try get some sort of wind protection rather than be out in a really bad place where the elements are going to beat me up. I'm going to go inside here. Pretty much everything I carry on my back for this hunt is in here. This is food. And I'll show you the water filtration over there, but this is what we cook with. You see this big vestibule here? This gives me room to put everything out of the weather. Uh, a lot of times we'll have camera gear and other stuff. Anything I want to keep dry or have to keep dry, I keep in here. Uh, everything I carry, I carry in a, a dry bag or a compression bag or something. And so that's just a little bit of clothes. This is where things get interesting. I'll try to open this up enough so that you can see what all is here. Got a Neo Air for my air mattress, very light. Uh, I don't fill it all the way because if I fill it all the way, it's so firm, I feel like I'm rolling off a rock or something. So I keep it pretty full. Uh, here is a backcountry pillow made by Cocoon. It is so nice to have a pillow that weighs mm, two ounces. Here is a sleeping bag liner that lay, weighs even less than two ounces, maybe two ounces. It adds a five degrees to the rating on your sleeping bag. Keeps all the human oils from getting in your sleeping bag so you don't have to worry about everything else and having to wash it multiple times each season. Uh, this bag here is a 15 degree bag. It's a down bag. Some people prefer synthetic. I don't. Here you'll see on top of this, I have a, uh, it's called the Ultra Bivy. And the reason I do that is a lot of times when you know you're gonna get moisture, you'll get condensation. No matter what you do, you'll get a slight amount of condensation. Uh, so I sleep with my bag inside my bivy. This weighs a few ounces. So that's kind of the sleeping arrangement. You see that the Hilleberg tents are actually a double tent. And that's the great part about that is you get all the evaporation that comes through here. And then you've got the other uh, layer of weather protection right here. So it's the slickest system I've ever seen. I would bet this tent right here has Let's see if I've had it for this will be going on my 10th season. I'm sure it has over 300 days or 300 nights in it. That's kind of what my quote unquote camp looks like. A uh, couple other small things. Because we're going lightweight, I have an Alpine mountain rifle by Hawa. That is a super lightweight rifle. In here is a lot of food, a lot of other goodies. Uh, survival gear, first aid kit, 
all the other things you've probably seen on our bag dump videos. Um, not a whole lot more to it than that. Uh, as far as clothes, I carry these Sitka gear here. I carry uh, one pair of pants as an outer layer, one pair of merino as a base layer bottom, a merino base layer top. Uh, I have a puffy coat if I need it and another uh, core zip tee. And that's it for clothes. Just over this ridge, there's a lake. <clears throat> so this is the filtration system. This is a gravity feed by Platypus. And this is a gravity feed by Catadyne. It's been getting so cold that night, you just you gotta make sure you drain these filters completely. Because if you don't, they're gonna crack. And uh, since there's multiple people here, and we're filtering lots of water, uh, it's nice to carry some extra bags. When you're in grizzly country, you have to follow certain precautions, both for law and for uh, your own safety. About 150 yards from my tent, maybe 100 yards, is food. And you need to keep the cleanest camp you possibly can. So, hanging on this rope, well out of reach of any bear. I say you should try to get it further away from the trunk, but I just can't with all these dead limbs. No grizzly bear gonna reach that. One bag is food and one bag is trash. All the food we eat is dehydrated. Uh, whatever you like, Mountain House, Heather's Choice. I'm trying to remember what the other ones are. Those are the two that we eat. Uh, that's, it's pretty Spartan. Um, when we came in with the llamas here, I wish I had known we could bring way more stuff. <laughs> but I planned on the llamas being fully loaded on the way out. So that's what my backcountry gear set looks like. Thanks for watching.